it's been 15 years of curated partnerships. It's been 15 years of supporting our gallant, dynamic proprietors, and it's been 15 years of sustained vision. If you understand the education context in Ghana, this means a lot. And I'm proud to be part of this story. When the foundation was formed, I really had no idea what I was going to be doing. You know, at that time, there weren't very many safe places for people interested in private education to be able to talk without a lot of pushback. Um, because so many people feel that all education should be free of charge and provided by governments. And yes, it should. But when it's not, what do we do to pick up the slack? And so we sought to do that, and we saw the only way to do it was to actually form collaborations, to form good relationships with government, and to create as many collaborations and partnerships as was possible. Snap Yuba had been in the business for 15 years then, doing so many things in the microfinance space but had done very little in education. Um, certainly we never taught ourselves to be an education impact institution until when we met with Irene. For those of you that are Ghanaians, you know a community called Agbogbuloshi. And for Irene to be able to say Agbogbuloshi, then I said, no, this woman is serious. When you look at the eyes, of a child that is looking up at you with their little face filled with hope and you ask them what would you like to be when you grow up and they tell you they want to be an astronaut or they maybe want to be an actress or perhaps they want to be an airline pilot or even an engineer I'm like how can this child out here know anything at all about engineering <laughs> but they have huge dreams and I think the most meaningful thing for me was really thinking, I wonder if there's any way I could make that dream come true. Well, I aspire to be a multifaceted doctor who is into journalism, law, music, philanthropism, and other things. These interests that I have within me are all churned out from the influence I had from the teachers in Success International School. I wouldn't know where I would be with my school right now without um, ID Play Rising Schools because I have so much confidence in myself. I am a trained teacher. I have a little bit of money, so I quickly bought a piece of land and then started the school. But I didn't get anywhere. The money was finished. They took us through um, financial accounting. And that is where I learned what um, they call cash flow. And they taught us a very simple formula for the cash flow. That is where I learned that children learn better when they are happy. From a very small, shabby school, I can proudly boast of a big school with about 500 students uh, as my population. Government's long arms cannot reach every nook and cranny of the country to provide education for the children. Government now recognizes that this is a sector they cannot ignore because if this sector is ignored, about 20% of Ghanaian children probably will not go to school. <laughs>